Hi guys, welcome to Network Engineer Stuff. In this video, we are going to focus on how we can add our own local PC in GNS3. Guys, this is a very cool stuff, I'll say, for those guys who work on GNS3 a lot. Because adding our own PC in GNS3 is, is, is a very interesting stuff. And believe me, it's a very easy stuff as well. So what I've done is I've done this stuff, uh, divided this into three parts, part one, part two, and part three. I've also created a post for this. I'll paste the link for this post in the description section of this video. You can directly follow the, uh, my, my blog spot for this. So the very first step is, or the very first part, I will say, is to create a Microsoft loopback adapter on your desktop. For that, I'll open the command prompt and I'll open the hardware wizard. So hdwwiz dot exe. I'll just press enter and the Microsoft wizard will get open. Here it is. Now, in this Microsoft wizard, what I need to do is I need to create a loopback adapter. So I'll just do next. And here it is saying me that this wizard is asking me what exactly I need to do. So whether I need that hardware automatically or manually. So I want it to be created manually. So I'll, I'll take an option. The second option, install the hardware that I manually select from the list. I'll do next. And uh, here it is asking me for the hardware type. I want a loopback adapter, which is a network adapter. So. I'll select network adapter and do next. Now here it is asking me for the manuf manufacturer. So the manufacturer will be Microsoft. But here guys, the model, selecting the model is very important. I need to select the loopback adapter, which is Microsoft KM test loopback adapter. So after selecting that, I'll have to do a next because the guys remembering this step is very important. Okay. So I'll do next. And here it is saying that the wizard is ready for the instruction. Do I need to proceed it? I will not do here next because I've already installed it. So I will not do it next here. I'll show you how it will look like. I've already, uh, you know, as I told that on my blog spot, I've already created a blog for this. So here you can see on the step number six, you know, I have to click on next. And once I click on next, then the hardware wizard will, will show you this window that Microsoft KM loopback adapter is created or it is installed and then you have to click on finish so once you click on finish then you have to uh, you know give an ip address which i have mentioned in part number two to that microsoft loopback adapter for that i have to I have to go and uh, check the uh, network adapters first of all now here you can see that you know under this network connections you can you can see here ethernet 3 this is my Microsoft loopback adapter, which I have created. You can see here, you know, Microsoft KM loopback adapter. I'll go into the properties and here under the networking tab, you will find an option of internet protocol version 4 TCP IP v4. So I'll go into that properties and here guys, I have to give an IP address. So I will choose this next option that is use the following IP address and I'll give an IP address here so i'm giving an ip address of 10.1.1.100 and submit marks i'll give it as uh, 255.255.255.0 uh, i'll do okay i'm not giving any any default gateway or any dns over here i'm just uh, you know giving this ip address just remember this ip address is 10.1.1.100 now here in this step number two or in the part number two, what we have to do is also we need to do some, uh, you can skip this part basically, but I'll recommend that you know, once you create a loopback uh, adapter and once you give an IP address for that loopback adapter, do the verification step because sometimes your, your desktop's firewall may block it. So just, just verify it. So I'm just verifying the IP address assigned to my loopback adapter here. You can see it is, uh, Ethernet 3 and uh, the IP address 10.1.1.100, which is correct. And uh, I'll just try to ping it uh, from this PC itself. So let's me ping it 10.1.1.100. I should be able to ping. Yes. So it is 
it is properly created the microsoft loopback adapter is properly created the ip address is also properly assigned and nothing is blocking it now let's move on to part number three part number three is to add our desktop in gns3 for that i'll open gns3 i have to create a blank project which i've already created so i'll quickly take a router and uh, this is a very interesting stuff now because you have to take your PC. Now here's the option of cloud. So this cloud is nothing but my PC, my own PC, okay, which I'm going to connect to the router in GNS3. Now here you can change the name of that cloud if you want, you know, so I just change uh, the name. If you want to change the symbol, you can do the same. So, you know, it's, it's, an, it's an optional stuff, guys, if you want to do it can do it or otherwise skip it so i just i just to get a feeling of a desktop so this is my feeling or oh, this is my desktop so i'll i'll uh, just connect this desktop uh Amar pc to this r1 so i'll take fast ethernet 0 slash 0 of r1 and connect it to the ethernet 3 of my pc so this is ethernet 3 is nothing but the loopback adapter which is which is correctly showing now now let me just you know on this particular router let it get start so this router is getting start so once it gets it start we will log into this router now uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to basically give the ip address uh, to that particular interface that is fast ethernet 0 slash 0 of that router and uh, what i'll give is i have to give some ip address in the same network which i gave for the pc so i'll give it as 10.1.1.1 255.255.255.0 and uh, I also have to do no shut yeah so I'll do no shut no shut okay and uh, now now what I'll do is uh, I'll ping this particular interface of that router from my PC so let me do it so this is a this is a testing time guys so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the command prompt and uh, of my PC and I'm going to ping the router in GNS3 10.1.1.1. So guys, I'm pinging the router which is present in the GNS3 from my PC and some timeouts, but yeah, now the now I'm getting the ping response successfully. So here is how we can, uh, you know, add uh, we, we have added our our own pc in gns3 and from uh, from that pc we are basically pinging the router now what i'll do simply um, some extra stuff i'll give an username let's say cisco to this router with password let's say cisco and uh, i'll also give an enable secret password let's say cisco so everything cisco cisco and uh, i'll give it uh under line vty i'll just enable the uh, telnet so that we can log in into that router from my pc yeah from my pc i'll log in into this router now so i've i've kept created this this i've you know done this configuration now i've i have enabled local login and transport input all underline vty i've given the username password the enable secret password now what i'll do is i'll uh, open super putty from my pc and uh, you know what i'll do is i will have to give this ip address of 10.1.1.1 on my super putty so for that well, first of all i will take telnet and give the host name host ip address basically so the hope hope uh, the host ip address is 10.1.1.1 which is the router in my gns3 it can it is asking me for the uh, username which is cisco uh, password cisco Enable secret password is also Cisco. Now here you can see guys that I've logged in or I can I have telneted the router in GNS3 from my local PC. So guys, this is what I want to show you in this particular video. If you really like this video, I recommend you to please share this video with your friends and also do subscribe to my channel Network Engineer Stuff. I'll catch up you in the next video till then bye thanks and do like the video and take care thank you